Well, come on in out of that uh, cold, snowy weather that we're having today. Well, actually, it was, uh, I think it was in the 60s today. Probably going to be in the 60s tomorrow. But anyway, uh, come on in. Let's take a look at your inspection report. So stay with me. Okay, now let's take a look at the inspection report and see how it reads out. This is a generic report. This is exactly what you will get, only your information obviously will be filled into all these blanks. The upper right-hand corner of the report is the legend. Each one of these initials pertain to something. A is consistent with the age of the chimney. B, C comments below. C, repairs needed. D, need further evaluation or E, not applicable and they're placed into the boxes next to the parts of the chimney that can be easily identified in this diagram and then of course you'll find my comments here below now let's take a look at your particular your personal report so stay with me hey heather i went out to uh, cedarcroft and did the inspection for you over there and uh, here's what we came up with let's uh let's take a look inside so the back fireplace uh the only fireplace in the house has a set of vented gas logs that are working and it does have a uh, manual control here which is okay uh, but this damper you couldn't open it <laughs> there is so much uh, garbage on the top of that damper it's rusty I think if you tried to force it open you're probably gonna break it I'm not sure about that uh, but you can't operate those gas logs with the damper closed uh, the, I think they have been if you look above the fireplace, you, when you stand in that room, you can see the dark carbon soot stains in there. I, I don't know. Uh, if they have been operating with the damper closed, it's a good thing it has vaulted ceilings because they'd be breathing a lot of carbon monoxide. They'd probably already be in the hospital. But anyway, that being said, that needs to be removed. However, whether it needs to be cut out or somehow if it can be uh, saved, all the debris needs to come out of there and then the damper will operate. Uh, mortar joints missing in the firebox area that needs to be uh, worked on with some refractory smell I'm giving you a price on doing that there was just one entrance according to the homeowner to get into the crawl space well the crawl, from here which is a solid wall to the chimney is about uh, 25 feet 20 feet so obviously we couldn't see what was uh, going on underneath the chimney and because it is vaulted ceilings of course, we couldn't, there was no attic to that. So, flue system missing mortar at the joints. Uh, this is caused primarily from, uh, you know, tons of water coming down the chimney over years. Um, so, and some of these joints uh, have been fixed. This looks like it's been repaired. You can see, obviously, it's a broken joint. Somebody pushed some cement in there. Um, if you're going to continue to use vented gas logs or wood burning, uh, you're going to need to repair this, and I've given you a price on doing that. Uh, or just switch over to vent-free gas logs. Just as a reminder, vent-free is a complete combustion. No carbon soot, no carbon monoxide. Don't have to worry about the gases getting into the house. If you treat it as a set of vented gas logs, then you could actually leave the damper closed, technically, which means we wouldn't have to cut it out and get all that debris out of there. I'll leave that those thoughts up to you. Let's go up on top. Rusty cap, but remember chimney caps are not code required in the state of North Carolina. And it is serviceable, so it's uh, making some stains up here, but uh, no big deal. Uh, some very fine cracks in the crown, very fine. They're not leaking, so no problems with that. Questions for me, give me a call, 704-526-6348. You can email me at chris at affordablesweep.com. Thanks.